Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. J.D. Nijah, word of truth. All praise is honor and glory. To the Most High. Heavenly Father, hold on. I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, it's not going to work. Rain and like. <laughs> California's getting getting plummeled by rain out here. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bless the ears that hear it. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. We bow before you. We believe in your word. Your oracles are true. Every saying of this book has a meaning. Not everyone can understand, but we understand because we have your spirit. We walk in your spirit. We followed the lamb that was slain before the beginning of the earth and will always be and we will always be with him because he promised we would if we believed that he was your only begotten son the son of god amen i'm gonna have to say that every time so you people know where i'm standing i'm not a joseph i'm not a i don't worship joseph <laughs> dance around a fucking big penis with joseph written on it with Bunch of sperm coming out the top. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That'll be their next one. This is the this is the one tribe chart, the tribe of Judah, spewing out the life giving force of Joseph. Fucking knuckleheads. Black Hebrew Israelism. I'm gonna point something out to you. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try and keep it calm. Within my, I'm going to try and stay in my square. <laughs> okay, so I was listening to um, Jack Gabar, Mr. Calm, collected elect of Israel, looking for the other elect of Israel, the, the Negroes, Native Americans and Hispanics that rule, they're going to rule the world and take Edom into slavery. I was listening to that guy, him and his minions, his his wannabe Israelites, <laughs> wannabes, they're the sellouts, the deceived. So he brought up the wheat and the tares. And so what he said, it, it's hard to it's hard to even say what he says. He says it perfectly because somewhere in his lame ass third grade mind, he believes it. Um, he was saying, how do you put it, that, okay, the, there's white men that look like Edom that are actually Israelites. You got to tell by the spirit because we're spiritual men. And just like, just like in that way, just like some of those white guys are actually, those guys are actually Israel, even though we don't see any of them. He doesn't, he doesn't claim any of them. He doesn't talk about any of them, Right. He says they're out there, but does he really believe that? No. He says that to make you think that he's he's with us. He's a he's. I, I'm sorry. I'm. I mean, there's got to be some out there. I know. I know there's got to be because there's also black guys that are that are actually Edomites. There's actually guys that look like Israel. They look like Israel. So Israel's all. Israel look Israel is a black image, right? So then he brought up the wheat and the tares, you know, yeah. The Lord sowed tares among the wheat. He sowed other he sowed these black guys that look just like us Israelites into the field. Those are the tares. Those are the those are the niggas that look just like us. But they're tares. So where do the white people come in? The whole field's full of Full of black people, and some of them are Israel, and some of them are tares. The whole field's black, bro. The whole field's black. So you're saying one thing, and then you say another thing. That's what I was saying in the last video. the The doctrine isn't even. If you listen and you have a brain, you're like, wait a minute. That nigger's trying to pull a fucking fast one on me, trying to trying to make me think and you think and them think that. Oh, the whole field is black. The whole field's black, but some of them aren't aren't Israel like us. They're they're tares. That's not the, that's not what the Lord says. 
Let's read it. Blows my fucking mind. The terrors explained. The terrors explained. So let's just think about it. The whole thing is, at the end, they're going to separate the wheat from the tares, right? That's the whole, that's the whole mindset. Well, we're going to take these good ones, and we're going to push away the bad ones. So, we're going to take all the good niggas, but we're going to push away all the black, all the bad niggas. Where, where, where's all the other people? Oh, it's only, it's only Israel. Well, then what are the tares doing in there? Well, the devil sold those. Well, why are they all black? Because they have to look like the other ones, don't they? It's, 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 it's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. We're talking spiritual things, people, not racial things. Hello? If there's neither Jew nor Greek, then there's neither black nor white. Michael Jackson had it right. Ebony and Ivory live together in harmony, you dumb fuckers. Is Israelites, you black Hebrew Israelites, you know the oracles of God. Oh, it's only been given to you, these oracles. Come on, sir. God uses the white things to, to make the black, thi black things of the world ashamed. He, you can hear the rain, huh? My truck's all fogged up and shit. Getting all hot. The tears explained. Matthew 13, 36. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. And Jesus answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seeds are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Doesn't say anything about black or white. Doesn't say anything about how they look, right? They all look the same. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. What is Jesus saying about the wheat and the tares? He's saying you we can't tell the difference. The only way you can tell the difference is can you tell a child of the kingdom from a child of the wicked one? How do you tell the difference between a wheat and a tear? It's not, it has nothing to do with color. It's your wicked doctrine that tells the difference between the wheat and the tear. How did we get these so-called Israelites in here talking about the Bible in a way that is so wicked, so wrong, so deceitful, so blasphemous, so heretical? How did we get that? The devil sowed them within Israel, and they're pretending to be us. They say the exact opposite. They say, oh, the, I, I don't know anything about Israel over there. I All I know is we'll find out in the end whether those, all, those people are loved by God or not. That's how it is with the wheat and the tares. We can't, we can't tell. Their doctrine isn't right either. Some of it is... It sounds good. It sounds, they've been saying the same thing long enough that it sounds, you'd have to really dig in and break down their lies. There's good, they, they have lies too. They don't believe. They're a lot like these black Hebrew Israelites. They don't believe that Jesus is coming again or something like that. I don't, I haven't really got into Judaism because the Lord told me, do not go there. I listen, I, I know a little bit about it, and I let those people be. 
But these guys, these black Hebrew Israelites, they are pushing their shit. You don't see a guy with a yarmulke in a black shirt and and flop and black floppy shoes walking down Wilshire Boulevard yelling um bar mitzvah and, and all kinds of Yiddish at people. They're not aggressive people. They're very mellow people. They're sweet-hearted people. I don't know about the ones in Israel. I know there's a lot of secular wickedness going on there. So it kind of stumps me as to why Israel is the way it is over there. But I'm over here. And these niggas are over here. These niggers are in my area. And I, I'm protecting my people in my area. My field. My field is, is the field of the Lord. That's the good seed. I'm a good seed of the kingdom. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm not here to lie into anyone. I'm not here to push any doctrine. Except the word of truth. So let's continue. I need a drink. Coffee. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be in the end of this world. This era is getting ready to end. This eon, this time frame, this dispensation, this whole nonsense, it's got to end soon. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels... And they, they shall gather out of his kingdom all the things that offend in them which do iniquity. Who's offending and who's doing iniquity here? Black Hebrew niggerism. Idiot, idiot, idiots. Black Hebrew idiots. They're claiming that black is, black is the only way to go. Can't get to God unless you're black. Can't have the oracles God. He only gave it to the Israelites. Us, us black people. That is blasphemous bullshit. Because if they if they were really true, they would they would believe the truth. The truth is there was only one Jesus. And the only way he could save us from our sins is because he had no guile. He had no lies. He was not corrupt of man. He was not corrupted seed. If you believe he was from sperm, you are your your whole doctrine falls in the gutter and gets washed out into the fucking ocean with the rest of the flotsam and jetsam and the rest of the fucking tears. There's so many people talking about the rapture and about the tribulation. The war is right here, people. I can't wait to get raptured. The white people are on the other side doing the same thing. I can't wait till my, my white Jesus comes and sick, sucks me up into heaven and I get to come back and help him destroy all the bad little Negroes and all the bad little Mexicans and all those other bad people, those 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 Asians. I He's going to really get those Asians and those Japanese the Japanese, there's some nice Japanese, but he's going to get them too. And we're going to get to watch it because we're going to be all up there in heaven. Both sides, both sides are out of their fucking minds. Rapture is for, I don't know who it's for. When he plucked, when he plucks me up, that's when I know. I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not waiting for something miraculous to happen. He'll, it'll happen when it happens. And after it happens, then I know it's a miracle. I never planned a miracle. It's not up to me to plan a miracle. It's up to me to abide till he does provide a miracle. People don't understand. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. That's when we get our foot massage. Their tongues are going to be sticking up out of the ground. And they're going to be screaming. And that's when we get to walk over there. Ooh, that feels good. 
I'm taking off my sandals. This is holy ground. <laughs> Just joking with you people. I, I say this stuff because it's it's getting ridiculous. The nonsense that's being pushed out here. The Lord said in the last days there was going to be a lot of chit chat, patty whack, give the dog a bone. Wow. Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. All fall down. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who has who has ears to hear, let him hear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who can who can tell the difference between the wheat and the tares? Let them grow up together. Let them do what they got to do. Who who's going to do it? The angels, let me get it again. And the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of the kingdom all the things that offend, and them which do iniquity. Do you think Abar and Tahar and these other black Hebrew idiots are angels? They're the tares. How did they get sewn in there? The devil? All praises and honor. Blah, 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 blah. Just like these rapture, pre, pre rapture, pre tribulation rapture, white Baptist Christian knuckleheads. It's not about color, people. The white people think they got it. The black people think they got it. The Catholic Latinos think they got it. The, he, the, the true Jews, Judah, Benjamin, those are the ones that have it. There's not very many of us. It's a very small, the, the path is narrow, the gate is small, and there are very few that actually know what the fuck's going on. Let me see what I got. Uh, 17. Should we go to that? The narrow gate. Let's see what it says. Gate, gate. Give me a second here. Gate. And on the guy, enter into his gates. Known in the gate. Open the gate. The gate. The wide gate. Matthew 7, 13. I'm, I'm right here. Let's get it since we're here. And I got time. See what it says about the gate. Mm. The straight and wide gates. I did my um I did my dissertation in the Christian church on the gate. <sighs> Enter ye it's pretty short. It's, it's short, it's easy. Enter ye, it's Matthew seven thirteen. 7-3, right? 7-1-3. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in there at. Am I trying to pull you people out of the the crowd that's heading for the, that wide gate? Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life and few there be that find it. Are you on this channel listening to me? You have a very good chance of getting in that very narrow gate. You know why? Because there's a, this is a very narrow, this is a very narrow fucking teaching. Fucking teaching. <laughs> it's... I don't, I don't pull no punches. I'm not, I'm not going with anyone's crazy nonsense, heretical bullshit anymore. I read exactly what the book says. Tahar was right. Gabar was right. The Jews are the only ones that hear the oracles of God. But are they them? Oh yeah, we're, we're 100% truth. You can't even get 
the birth of Jesus right, you can't get yeah you, you can't even get off the first step under the narrow path. You can't even get uh, the first step. You got all the other steps. You're you're the overseed man, GMS and Sakari. You're overseeding. You're seeding and seeding and seeding. But what's coming up? Most of it's fucking wheat. Most of it's tares. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing coming up. You're you're an overseed man, Gabar. You need to you need to throw the seed in the right season to the right soil. You're you're seeding you're seeding weak fucking tares everywhere. You're the devil. Right after that, what's it say? About, right after straight gate, narrow gate, false prophets. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. Yep, they got their superhero outfits on again. We're the men of God. We we are the men. You Edomites are going to die. You Edomites are wicked. You've been doing all this wickedness. You ever think that um, part of the problem is you black people don't know how to um, love each other? You don't know how to stick together? You have no loyalty? And now, now it's the end of the days. You're showing some kind of loyalty, but you're showing it to the devil. You guys are cursed, man. If Israel is cursed, you're cursed. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. What's a corrupt tree? A tree that hasn't been grown in the right soil. It hasn't been tended to. It's been, it's been pruned incorrectly. Not enough knowledge to prune the tree correctly. I'm a gardener. I know the difference. I came from the beginning. I'm a gardener. Who, who, who are you? Thanks for asking. I'm a Benjamin of Judah. I'm the gardener. Why did the Lord make me be a gardener, people? You know what he, I used to be a gardener, now I'm an electrician. <laughs> I'm going to shine like the sun, baby. That's funny, Matthias brought that out yesterday. Matthias had a couple good messages. Um, Omega 2022. One channel, Omega 2021, something like that. It'll pop up. Just put Omega 20. Matthias, he thinks he's King David. I don't I don't think King David's coming back. I've already gone over that a hundred times. We know we know that David is still in the his sepulcher is with us to this day. All these Oh David, we're seeking David. Yeah, we'll keep seeking, brother. Fucking David went home. You're not going to find him. He, he went home. Let's see what else they got here. The rock and sound, sand foundation. Therefore, whoever bear, heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. What's the rock? Jesus, the Son of God, not the Son of Joseph, Son of God. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, there you go with that sayings again. What are the oracles of God? The sayings of the book. Do you, do you hear what he's saying? And everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, Salakia, and does them not. Anyone? I'm trying. I'm. I'm. 
knocking. Is anyone listening? Open the door! And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. I'm trying to help these guys. I'm not praying for them. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to keep saying the same thing. Dudes, the Bible does not say Joseph is the son of God. Maybe we need to go into that one more time. I don't, I, I'm so worn out on that one. It's like, that's what, that's, that's kindergarten. You can't even, you can't even start kindergarten unless you got that first step. The son of God isn't like me and you. He didn't come from sperm. He didn't come from no corrupt seed. He's not a corrupt tree. He's a good tree. He's a spiritual tree. GD Nigel, word of truth. If you've wandered upon this ranting, raving lunatic of a Bible teacher, come along for the ride. We're going into the narrow gate. There's few far between that find this way. And if you're on this channel listening, you're blessed. Believe in the truth. The word of truth will set you free. J.D. Nija, I'm out.